God says, This year you will harvest the seeds you thought were dead. They have come to life and will return to you as beautiful, abundant blessings that enrich your spiritual life. These blessings won't bring sadness or problems, they are pure and true. I have placed you in the right place for you to prosper if you trust in me and treat others well. Be alert and sober-minded, for the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now if you believe in God, get ready because the next person God is about to bless is none other than you. That's right, my friend. The pain you've been experiencing will soon come to an end, the tears will dry up, and doors of opportunity will swing wide open. Brace yourself for a massive financial miracle heading your way. To claim this incredible blessing, simply type trust me. The universe is about to orchestrate something truly awe-inspiring in your life. You're about to receive a significant blessing, one that exceeds your wildest dreams. In the book of Isaiah, chapter it says, I am the Lord, and there is no other besides me. There is no God. I equip you, though you do not know me. This means that God is the one and only. There is no one like him. He wants us to have a teachable spirit and to follow his word instead of our own feelings or emotions. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Let go of doubt and pessimism and wake up each day with unwavering faith. Miracles and wonders are possible if you believe. But remember, this is not a game, luck or magic. It's about faith in my holy word, which is always fulfilled in perfect timing according to my will. If you want to change, prosper and transform, I can do it. I have the power to change hearts and thoughts overnight, but I need your faith. You are entering new territory and soon you'll see it. Leave the past behind and reach out with faith to grasp the blessings I'm offering. Your test has passed. Your time is now. Beautiful miracles are on the horizon for you and your family. We should submit to his will and ask Jesus to help us overcome doubts and disobedience. Sometimes we may struggle because we don't fully understand God's plan for us. In those moments, we can pray for the Holy Spirit to strengthen our faith and help us overcome temptations and emotions. We should trust that whatever God asks of us will work out for our good, as mentioned in James. It's easy to fall into the trap of becoming too comfortable in our faith. We shouldn't be satisfied with a lukewarm, complacent attitude towards God. Instead, we should always be grateful and thankful for his blessings. Even the basic things like health, food, and shelter are gifts from God that we often take for granted. We should never forget the depth of God's love for us, as shown in John, where he sacrificed his son Jesus for our eternal life. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.